Our iPads are powerful devices and mastering multitasking will level up how you use your iPad, allowing you to switch from one task to another easily. Multitasking can help bring your iPad as close to a laptop replacement as possible, so it's well worth learning these features and in this video I'll show you how. The main features of multitasking on the iPad consist of split view, slide over, picture in picture, app switcher, center window, shelf, and the multitasking menu. Thanks for tuning in to Ellen's Tips for iOS this week. If you're finding value in these videos, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss when I post a new video. Let's get started. Let's start by showing you how to access the multitasking menu. And you can do this in any app. So I'm just going to tap on the Chrome app. And when I do, it takes me to uh, the Google home page. And at the very top, right, right in here, you'll see three dots. If I tap on them, that reveals the multitasking window. And you can see there's three options. You have full screen, which is highlighted right now. You have split screen in the middle. And then on the far right, you have slide over. At the bottom of this page is where the shelf resides. You can add many windows to the shelf so that you can go back and forth between web pages uh, easily if you choose to do that. So if I tap on new window, you'll see that the same window appears. But now if I want to, I can go ahead and tap on a web page and it's going to bring me into my blog page. And if I tap back on the multitasking uh, menu at the top, I can go back to the Google window if I want to. I can jump into YouTube if I choose. So anytime you want to reveal the multitasking window, you need to tap on the three dots at the top of the page. That will bring up that multitasking window along with the shelf at the bottom of the page. Now that we know how to enter into the multitasking menu, let's take a look at what it can do. So I'll tap on the three dots at the top and I'm going to enter into split view, which is going to allow me to bring up two apps uh, divided 50-50 on the screen. So I'm going to tap the center option, which is split view. And you'll see that the app slides away. A pop-up menu appears telling me to choose another app. You can choose any app on your iPad. I'm going to go ahead and swipe over to the app library, and I'm going to go ahead and choose the Notes app. And now I have the Notes app and the Google Chrome app split 50% on the screen. So now I can do a couple of things in split screen. I can grab this gray bar and I can slide it to the right. And now Google Chrome is 50% of the screen and the Notes app is at 25. You can also drag that bar to the left side of the screen and you will have Google Chrome at 25 and the Notes app at 50. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back to the center. If you want to bring up uh, a different app in split screen, what you can choose whichever app you want. I'm going to go ahead and grab the notes app at the top of the page by pushing and holding on the three dots and just swiping it away. And again, now I can choose another app. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the notes app. I can also reverse the side that the app is on. So if I want Google Chrome to be on the right side, I can just grab the three dots at the top of the page, drag them over, and now I've just reversed the apps. So now let me show you another option that you have. If I come into the app switcher right now, you'll see that I have those two apps remaining in split screen. But let's say I want to do uh, another version of split screen. If I grab the Google Chrome, which you see opened here, if I push and hold on that and drag it over next to Safari, 
and drop it, now I have Google Chrome and Safari in split screen. So that's an easy way to uh, use the app switcher to put your apps into split screen. And you can always get back to them by accessing the app switcher and you'll see that those uh, apps that we placed in split screen are still there. Now that we understand split screen, let's talk about slide over. Slide over is a floating window that resides on top of your application. So right now, um, I have the notes app opened. I'm going to tap on the multitasking window. I'm going to choose the option on the far right, which is the slide over option. And the window will disappear and it'll prompt me to choose another app. When I choose the other app, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick Google Chrome again. You'll see that the app, uh, the notes app has become the slide over app and Google Chrome is the background app. We can reposition this window by grabbing the three dots and just sliding it off to the other side. So you can place that floating window on either side of your iPad. You can hide that window by just grabbing the three dots and sliding it off the edge of the screen and you'll see a little uh, arrow there. And if I tap on that arrow, you'll see that the floating window reappears. I can also add other applications to that floating window. So there can be multiple windows in that floating window. To do that, I'm just going to slide up from the bottom of the page to reveal the dock. I'm going to go ahead and just grab an app and drop it on top of that. I'm going to swipe up again and grab another app and put that on top. And so now there are three windows. And to access them, use the black bar at the bottom of your screen and just swipe through them. And so this way you can access multiple uh, applications inside the slide over window. One last thing you can do is you can change that background app. So right now I have Google open. If I swipe up from the dock and I choose Safari, you'll see that Safari then becomes the background app. And that's how you use slide over. In iPadOS 15, you can quickly open a preview window centered on the screen. It's limited in functionality and right now only supports notes, email, and messages. To use this feature, you need to be in an app that has this functionality and the Notes app does. So here I am inside the Notes app and to bring up Centered Window, I just need to long press on a note and when I see open a new window, tap on that and you'll see that that preview window is now centered on the page. You can edit that by just tapping in and the keyboard will appear and you can edit that note. When you're finished, you'll tap on close and that's how you use center window. You can switch between the various views with just a tap. Let's walk through how to do that. So as you can see right now, we are in a uh, split view. Now to get to slide over a couple of options, whichever app you want to be the slide over app, you can go ahead and just tap on the three dots at the top of the page, choose slide over. And now that app has become the slide over app. Let's go ahead and take that back to split view. And now I can choose which side I want that app to be on. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on the left. But there's another way to do this. You can also just grab the three dots at the top of the page and bring that uh, application down. And if you bring it over on top of the other application and drop it, we're now in a uh, slide over. To get back to split screen, grab the three dots, come back over and drop it again. And now you're back into split view. So those are some of the ways that you can get back and forth between split view and slide over very easily. We briefly talked about the shelf and I just want to come back to it for a minute. So 
to access the shelf on uh, in Google Chrome, I'm just going to tap the three dots at the top of the page. You'll see the shelf appear at the bottom. I just want to remind you that you can add new windows by tapping on uh, the plus sign at the bottom of the page. You can switch between windows by just tapping on them and you can switch between them. You can also get rid of windows by just swiping them away. So whatever uh, window you're on, you can't swipe that window away, but you can swipe the other windows away by just flicking them up to the top of the page. And that's how you use the shelf option. You can multitask while watching video by using picture in picture, but let's get a couple of things out of the way. So if you're using the YouTube app, YouTube does not allow you to use picture in picture, but you can bypass that by using Safari and going to youtube.com. So let me show you what you need to do uh, to make sure that you can uh, use picture in picture. So if you come into the settings app and you tap on general and then you select picture in picture, make sure that that toggle switch is turned on. If it's not turned on, you will not be able to use picture in picture. So let me swipe out of that and come into Safari. And I've already gone to YouTube and I'm on uh, one of my videos and I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and just tap on play. And then I'm gonna tap on full screen. When I swipe out of full screen, you'll see that the picture window comes down and it's located in the bottom left corner of the screen and it's really tiny. You can adjust that by pinching to zoom and making it a little bit bigger. You can also move it wherever you want on the screen. So you can place it in any of the corners. You can bring it back down a little bit you know, and adjust the size, and you can continue working on your iPad while the video plays in the lower right corner. So I'll bring up the Chrome app, and you'll see that the picture window continues to stay there, and I, I can play it, and I can continue working on whatever I want to do. When I'm ready and I want to go back into full screen, I'll just tap in the upper right corner of the screen and that'll bring me back into full screen. So that's another way to multitask by, you know, when you're watching video on your iPad. The last uh, multitasking feature I want to show you is how to open uh, multiple windows of the same app. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and just open the notes app. And I'm going to tap on the multitasking menu and I'm going to go ahead and choose split view. And now if I tap on the notes app again, you'll see that you can work inside the notes app side by side. And this may be a feature that, that you know, you find that you need to use because you want to drag things from one note to another. Um, but it's a pretty cool feature that you can do this and you can do this with any app. Give it a try. Wow, that was a lot of multitasking features and they can make your work and personal life more manageable. It's also tons of fun. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments area. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.